Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the anti-epileptic drugs. So basically in this lecture we will be like more focusing upon the classification of anti-epileptic drugs. What is epilepsy? Epilepsy is a Greek word which means conversion but over here we are like more focusing on anti-epileptic drugs. So without any wasting of time let's talk about the anti-epileptic drugs. So for the anti-epileptic drugs we are having a quite funny mnemonic that is by sub where every single alphabet will indicate the particular drug of the anti-epileptic drug. Now we are B stand for the barbiturates and this class we have a phenobarbitone. Now H stand for the hydrantoins in this class we have a phenoetin and first phenoetin. Now A strand for the aliphatic carboxylic acid derivatives. So in this class we have a sodium vulporate sodium vulporate and divalprox so aliphatic carboxylic acid derivatives contain sodium vulporate and divalprox where I stand for amino strelbenes so in this class we have a carbamazepine Now, S stand for the succinamide. In this class, we have a ethosuximide. Now, A stand for the adjuvant newer anti-epileptic drugs. So. A stands for adjuvant neuroepileptic drugs. It contains a lot of drugs, but for the some drugs, we have a trick that is PTV, where P stands for the pregabalin and T stands for tigabin, V stands for vega, betrin, etc. So, adjuvant newer anti-epileptic drugs contain a lot of drugs, but some drugs and other to recall. Uh, so, for that we have a trick that is PTV, where P stands for pregabalin, where T stands for trigabin, where V stands for the vegabatrin. Now, at the last, we are having a B, where B stands for the benzodiazepines. For the benzodiazepines, we have a trick that is DLC. What is the trick that is DLC? D stands for diazepam, L stands for lorazepam, and C stands for chlorazepate. Where D for diazepam, L for lorazepate, sorry, lorazepam, and C stands for chlorazepate. So I will repeat it once again. So what is the trick for the anti-epileptic drugs? So that is by so where B stands for barbiturates. Barbiturates contain phenobarbitone that is more specifically anti-epileptic. Where H stands for hydrantoins that contain phenytoin and phosphenytoin. S stands for aliphatic carboxylic acid derivatives. In this class, we have a sodium vulporate and diazepam prox where I stand for amino steel beans containing carbamazepine where S stand for succinamide that contain ethosuximide where S stand for adjuvant newer anti-epileptic drugs that contain a lot of drugs but some are pregabalin, trigabin, vegabatrin etc. And B stand for benzodiazepine that is diazepam, lorazepam and colorazepaid. So that's all about the anti-epileptic drugs. Students, I hope so you will like the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe our channel and smash the bell icon. Thank you so much.